The Allied invasion of Sicily, codenamed Operation Husky, was launched in July 1943 with a massive amphibious operation. The British 8th and American 7th Army came ashore on the jagged beaches of southern Sicily despite strong winds and heavy seas. Ensign Jean Yeager of Geneva, Illinois, was proud to serve as the communications officer on LST-400, a flat-bottom ship designed not for travel on the open ocean, but to drive onto an enemy beach before offloading its precious cargo. On July 10th, LST-400 set off the coast of Sicily, loaded to the gills with trucks and ducks, the amphibious version of a two-and-a-half-ton truck, ready to supply the invasion force with ammunition and gasoline. We were, after we came out of the darkness and found the fleet again, the, the flagship told us to prepare to go into the beach, and the beach was a shallow one. Uh, the LSTs couldn't reach it. They were running aground a couple hundred feet offshore, a lot of water between them and shore. We carried what we called a pontoon bridge on the side of a, God, they were versatile ships. They could do anything. We carried our bridges with us. and They, uh, they had a special name for them, but it was a, uh, a bunch of tanks uh, lashed together with steel work and had a huge outboard motor on the stern. Rhino, I, I've forgotten that. We had two two ships, the 311 and the 313 were unloading at our beach, and we were waiting to go in. And we were under attack. We had some high-level attack from uh, FW-200s. But when we got into the beach, uh, ME-109s were coming in low, and uh, dive bombing. Uh, they'd uh, come down the river valleys and bank sharply over the beach and they were on the ship before they knew it. And one of them, uh, we, we were firing at the guy, but uh, he, uh, he hit LSC-313 right in the middle and uh, burst into flame. The campaign for Sicily raged on for 40 days, culminating with a race to Messina between the British forces under General Montgomery and the Americans under hard-driving General George S. Patton. Patton's 7th Army won the race. <laughs>